Hi, my name is Graham Jacock. Now, let me give you an example. Gone with the wind. Here we have a perfect example of how black slaves were treated in the past. But despite it being wrong, we can learn something by the behaviour of the slaves. Because they had to report to a master. They conducted themselves well. Now, Jesus said, we are to conduct ourselves well. Now, Paul in, where is it? 2 Corinthians 6, 3 has said, we put no obstacles in anyone's way so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But I, I do like the Phillips translation where it where, where he expands on what it means. And I think we have to look at these black slaves and say they acted in an honourable way despite their oppression. We can learn as Christians to be like that because that's ultimately what we want. We don't want to have any fault where the enemies of Christ turned around and says, you acted in such and such a way. So here we go, the Phillips translation. And keep in mind, having your, uh, have a picture of these black slaves like in Gone with the Wind and transpose on top of that what a Christian should be like for Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus is a master of a Christian, just like the owner was a master to the black slave. As far as we are concerned, we do not wish to stand in anyone's way, nor do we wish to bring discredit on the ministry God has given us. Indeed, we want to prove ourselves genuine ministers of God, whatever we have to go through, patient endurance of troubles or even disasters, being flogged or imprisoned, being mobbed, having to work like slaves, having to go without food or sleep. All this we want to meet with sincerity, with insight and patience, by sheer kindness and the Holy Spirit, with genuine love, speaking the plain truth and living by the power of God. Our sole defence, our only weapon, is a life of integrity, whether we meet honour or dishonour, praise or blame, called impostors we must be true called nobodies we must be in the public eye never far from death yet here we are alive always going through it yet never going under we know sorrow yet our joy is inextinguishable we have nothing to bless ourselves with yet we bless many others with true riches we are penniless and yet in reality, we are the everything worth having. Before we take down the past in disgust, we cannot honour the integrity of the black slaves. And that is of higher importance, because that is what they had to put up with. They had integrity.